This is Amanda Powell, Access Home Care Product Specialist. Today, we will be reviewing the Access Home Care's Continuous Care Note and its functionality. Here at Access, we wanted to give agencies the ability to document various assessments for their continuous care patients in one visit versus scheduling multiple visits and having to document those assessments individually. If you do not already have a continuous care note on your schedule, you can quickly schedule the task by clicking on Client Center, selecting the patient you would like to schedule, selecting Schedule Activity, click on the date you would like to schedule the visit for, and complete the scheduling information below. To document in the scheduled continuous care note, you will simply hover over the scheduled task. It will pull up a bar and you will select Edit Documents. As you can see, the continuous care note is broken up into two sections. The left side of your screen is going to display your patient information. It lists their care period, primary and secondary diagnosis, your visit date, time in and time out, any mileage, travel, and surcharge information. We've also given the ability to view their logs. So if the client has any supplies, EMR, seizure, vitals, INO, or ventilator logs, you can view those here. You can also add supplies. So if your patient is receiving any supplies, you can add those here by selecting Add Supplies. We also have Add Vitals, Add Infections, Incidents, Add Order. You also have the ability to view their wound care flow sheet, their care plan, and access their medication profile. To the right, you'll see Tiles. Your first tile will be your shift initiation visit. So at the beginning of your shift on your continuous care visit, You'll simply click on add, which typically would be here, but since I've already completed one for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and select edit, and this is where you'll begin your shift. If you notice, you have your client information, your assessment date and time, who you received report from, and then you'll be able to document all of your shift initiation checks. Emergency equipment checked, infection control kit, O2 tank, O2 sensor, AMBU bag, if the patient is a trach patient and they have an extra trach on site, you can document whether they do have an extra G-tube on site, and if so, where that is located. If you notice, when you check yes, you do have a red asterisk, which means this is a required entry. If the client is on narcotic medications, you will document their completed narcotic medication counts here. So I would select yes and document your two-person check. If the client has a medical bed, any mobility devices, stander, braces, lift, and a box for comments. We've included a comments box on all tiles, which gives the ability to document any extra information that is not included in the tile for the patient. Moving on to the neurobehavior, this patient was seen at 8 o'clock in the morning and the clinician has documented their assessment here. At 9 o'clock, they went back and they rechecked the patient and did their documentation. So now it's later in the day and I want to go ahead and add another assessment. You have the ability, if there are no changes, to select no changes from prior assessment. If you would like to load in information from a previous note, you can also do that by selecting Select Previous Assessment. This will pull in their earlier documented visit information. So if the patient was seen at 9 a.m. and I would like to go ahead and load that information, I will select Current Visit, 9 a.m. And it's going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to load from the previous note. As you can see, the information that was recorded in the previous note has now populated in this note. If I need to make any changes to this, I can do so by just simply checking on the boxes. Here you're able to document their behavior status, orientation, reflexes present. Again, at the bottom, we have the comments box for any additional comments that need to be added. The next tile is going to be head. If you need to document on vision, you'll do so here. Ears, face, nose, throat, and mouth. We've also given a drop-down box for lesions. This is also marked with a red asterisk for documentation requirements. Teeth present. If you're documenting a pediatric patient and they do not have teeth present, you can select no, and you can document any oral hygiene practices and comments. Moving on to respiratory, we also have no changes from prior assessment and also the ability to load in the previous notes. We have respirations, breathing, their breathing patterns. You can document their breath sounds, 
We've also provided the ability to document all lobes, anterior, posterior, and further documentation, upper left, left upper, left lower, right upper, right middle, and right lower. As you can see, you do have the ability to check all of them or just one. Cough, secretions, oxygen, trach, their liters per minute, pulse ox, if the patient is on a trach, they require any suctioning, mechanical assists, cough assist, chest physical therapy, humidification, if the patient is on an apnea monitor, and again, comments. In each one of the tiles, there are drop-down menus for detailed documentation. Cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, appetite, their fluid intake, nutritional intake, abdomen, you can document their bowel sounds, bowel program, their last bowel movement, and ostomy. The remaining tiles all include detailed documentation for your continuous care patient. If you're providing any education to your client or caregiver, you're able to add that in the education tile. You can document the teaching methods, who you provided it to, and the response to the teaching. If you taught on any medications, you can also document that in this tile, their level of understanding, and comments. Care coordination. If you're providing care coordination on goals addressed or discharge planning reviewed, you can document that here. If you've received any orders for this patient. Also, who you're providing the coordination of care to. If your patient has medical appointments, you're able to document that here. Any medication tolerance and shift report information. The final tile is going to be narrative. This tile simply allows you a blank canvas to document any additional information that was not included in any of the other tiles. You will then sign your note, date your note, and complete it. Thank you for joining me. This completes our training on the continuous care note in the Access Home Care product.